Hey guys, I'm in Sydney again. I just got here from the airport. This hotel is so cool. I've never stayed here before. It's called the QT Hotel. I literally got like the cheapest room you could get. So I was just expecting like a small room, but it's so nice. Like I'll show you as I came in. I feel like I'm in a day spa with all the mood lighting. And it's like a little rug, apparently movies, internet, tea, coffee, milk is all complimentary. And there's a nice little, oh my gosh, look. Martini glasses, yes please. The shower looks amazing. I don't know, it's just really cool. It's very, um, I don't know, like almost reminds me of a Chicago like cocktail bar or something. And downstairs there's like a massive, yeah, bar and it's just really cool. I'm staying here because it's literally just down the road from my event tomorrow. The Max Institute event. I'm so excited. I'm going to be on a beauty panel and be speaking about beauty tips. I'm doing day to night makeup. I haven't really planned what I'm doing, but I figure when you like talk about something you're passionate about, it will just come naturally. So I'm not going to like try write a script or remember things to say. I'm just going to wing it. This is my comfy traveling outfit. I've got like a knotted up shirt, my denim jacket and my stussy leggings. These are so comfortable. I don't even know if you can see in my slides. Oh my gosh, I'm so tired though. It's only like nine o'clock here, but in New Zealand it's 11 p.m. <laughs> I can't even talk. The airport was just packed today because there's been really stormy weather in New Zealand. So it's been a couple days of cancellations. So many flights were canceled. So the airport was packed and it was just delays all day pretty much. So I left home at about eight o'clock for the airport and I only just got to my hotel now at 9 p.m. So we made it. I'm not even that hungry. I think I'm just gonna have a shower and crawl into bed. I was gonna see what Shan and Hamish were up to because they're in Sydney, but I haven't heard from them and I'm really tired. So I'm probably just gonna like bitch out and put my pajamas on. It's so good too. No, oh, I was thought what it was. This glitter. Thanks, girl. It's just like, Ooh, just like a club. She's sparkling. <laughs> Say hello yeah. to my vlog. Adeline. Yes. <laughs> oh, seductive. I remember one time you seemed to be like really close in a vlog. <laughs> <laughs> that YouTube movie. I feel very relieved. You nailed it. I was very nervous. She was cool, calm, and collected. Cool. I wish I vlogged that reaction to oh, yeah. 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 I'm so excited for the show. So fun life is complete. Getting my so electrolytes. Good.
Would you like to be in the vlog? You look really presentable. Have you got makeup on? I put a little bit on. You look so fresh. Yeah, I didn't want to go on a date with you. For, <laughs> yeah. no, Sorry about my face. face. <laughs> You're beautiful anyway, I'm old. Yeah. Garçon. We're in yeah. Garçon. Bistro. I'm so excited to eat. I'm trying my first Ben and Jerry's. Chef my food in, Michelle. I am your assistant. Put it in. <laughs> Oh, 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 yeah, baby. <laughs> That's so good. I got Chunky Monkey because You're it represents demanding. me as a person. I got you and a banana. Well. Thanks, Michelle. How'd you go? Michelle did some shopping, got some sexy undies. Oh, thanks. Mm. Oh, my cash. <laughs> <laughs> hey, guys, I don't know how much I actually ended up vlogging today. I was so tired. I've been really bad. It's only a two hour time difference, it's really nothing. But it's just since I went out last night and we didn't get home till after midnight which midnight's like 2 a.m. New Zealand time. And then I keep waking up at like 5 a.m. Australia time because I'm um, so used to getting up at seven o'clock New Zealand time, if that makes sense. So I was just real tired. Like obviously we had a lot of drinks last night and everything too, but it wasn't so much that because I had lots of water when I got home. But yeah, just so tired. But I had brunch with Michelle, which was lovely. It's so good to properly be able to catch up with her because yesterday was very crazy busy. And then I went to Chinatown with my sister, met up with her, and we had dumplings, and that was really good. And I had a wander around Chinatown. I'll show you. I bought these amazing pajama pants. They're like literally a blanket. But I'm so tired, so I'm just heading into bed soon. I put on my favorite face mask, which is this one here. I always bring this one traveling with me. It's the Jojoba Company. I haven't really tried anything else from this brand. I have the pure oil from them, which I sometimes use on my lips, but this is my favorite favorite hydrating mask. You guys have to check it out if you have dry skin. My skin's dry combo and this just makes me feel amazing. It smells so good. It feels so good. It's just, it's so nice and rich and nourishing. You can leave it on overnight. I was just reading, which I've never tried. I usually just leave it on for like 20 minutes, but my skin just drinks it up and it feels so good. I get so dry, especially after I've been flying. After I had a little wander in Chinatown, I just walked home. Well, home to the hotel. So I'm just tidying up the hotel room a bit and then I'm gonna wash this mask off and do my moisturizer. I feel like I need to do a proper skincare routine because my skin's just been clearing up so well. I love the products I'm using and literally like I've been a diehard fan. Look at my cleansers, I nearly run out. So I definitely need to do a skincare routine. If you guys are interested, let me know. This mask smells so good. It's seriously sending me to sleep. I have mad regrets right now because I was just like needing some energy. I'm not a coffee person. So I was like, okay, I'll have like a little thing of chocolate from the mini bar, but they only had really bougie chocolate. So I opened it, it's like a $12 bar of chocolate. I'll show you and it's not even good. I'm like, I'll pretty much take anything when it comes to chocolate. It's this like block of chocolate here, honeycomb. I thought it would be, um, you can still see I've had like two rows, but I'm not gonna eat the rest. I'm just gonna throw it out. Like, it's not even that good. What a waste of a cheat meal. <laughs> oh, oh, again. Looking hot. <laughs> Going out clubbing. Before I go to sleep, I'll quickly show you guys what I bought today. Or well, what's like on the bed anyway, because I can't be bothered to get off the bed. Have you guys seen Shan's White Fox clothing collection that's coming out soon? I've seen the clothes, they're so cute. It just made me think of it just then because I said can't be bothered, which is what's on one of the shirts, which is very cute. Where have I like put everything? I got this phone case here, which is very cute. You guys know me with my little tacky phone cases, I love it. And this one had pink, so of course I had to get it. And it's like the glitter and water type ones. I just thought it was really cute. I like how it's a little misty or perfume. Oh yeah, I got some bralettes, which I mean, no one's probably that interested from Calvin Klein. Where's the black one going? I was trying them on before. They're just the ones with the elastic, like it says Calvin Klein all the way around. So I thought they were really cute. I got a white one and a black one. Oh, and here are the pants. These pants were $10 from Chinatown. I really wanted Hello Kitty ones, but the Hello Kitty ones only, oh look, here's the black bra. <laughs> the Hello Kitty ones only came in a size six and it's already like Asian sizing. If it was like NZ sizing, I would try to squeeze my fat bun to that, but no, I got these like panda ones, but it's like a blanket. I don't know if you'll be able to tell like how soft and fleecy, it feels amazing. Mavis is gonna die. She's gonna sit on my lap every time like shame tummer <laughs> when I'm wearing these but yeah they're so soft I want to rub them on my face but I'll get face mask on them but like best purchase of the trip I think so those are gonna be my new work in my office pajama pants ah <sighs> so yeah oh early start tomorrow probably won't do too much vlogging so I guess I'll see you guys when I'm back in New Zealand 
some mail here that's arrived and also a giant box here which I have no idea what that is. I know what this is because it was a dress for Max Institute that I paid express shipping on and it still didn't come in time. I realized it might not be everyone's cup of tea but I thought it was just really cool. Really visually effective. It's like a plunging snakeskin dress. Just imagine me though with like some really like a cool bralette and some edgy makeup like wearing this. I just thought it was really cool. It's like almost got a shiny look to it. Are they just like a primer? Oh it says it's like rosehip oil. Cool. This I know what this is. This is some protein bars but I'm going to open one because I haven't had breakfast yet. This one's my favorite flavor. It's the chocolate chip cookie dough. Um, but yeah, they're really good just to grab for breakfast if you're on the go or if you're like me and there's no groceries in the house right now because I've just been away, so I'm gonna have one for breakfast right now. But yeah, the last box I got was the mocha chocolate chip ones, and oh, not for me. I'm not really a big coffee fan, so I don't know why I went for them. Well, I do, they were the top rated like flavor on the website, but they're really dry and just like bitter, and I did not like them. These ones are so much better. How nice is this? This is like a proper little card. Do you see that? I am honored. Sally, I hope you love all of your new makeup geek goodies. Can't wait to see the beautiful looks you create. Love, Joel. Thank you, Joel. Looks like a lot of lip, pro Ooh. <laughs> lip products in there. Hopefully that wasn't a highlight. So similar to the Urban Decay packaging. I love how expensive it looks. It's kind of that gunmetal. Oh, wow. Some of this stuff will definitely be for giveaways because, I mean, that is a highlighter. It's never going to work on me. So they've clearly just put, like, the new releases in, which is fine because then you guys get some for giveaways. That one's just... <laughs> That's not really gonna work with my skin tone. Ooh, Mecca have come out with their own range of makeup. Look how huge this box is. That's the press release there. This is so exciting. I'll definitely have to give these a go and report back. Cool packaging too, orange. You don't often see orange on brands. So goodbye from me and Mavis. I hope you enjoyed this week's vlog. I've got so many exciting videos that I have planned. I've definitely been focusing so much on social media. Like I'm doing a lot of Insta videos at the moment, little workout videos and obviously traveling a lot for events, but now I definitely want to just hone down and focus some more on my YouTube channel because I know I've been neglecting it a little bit. So I've got some exciting videos planned coming up. So look forward to those. But besides that, I hope you guys have a really good day and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.